Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series that I started yesterday on an introduction into Blender. <coughs> Sorry. In the last tutorial, what we did was we created a symbol object, and we made a, we created this plane, and then we messed around with the vertices and the um, way to connect these points, and we created this. It's just a simple little thing. So, and that was an intro into how to move around and navigate around the scenes. So now I want to do something that's pretty commonly asked. What is the difference in, of these? Now I'm going to start this today and tomorrow I'm going to focus on the game engine. And that's the most forgotten about thing that I've really ever seen is the Blender game engine. So for right now we are going to focus on this. Blender, the Blender render versus the cycles render. Now, the way these two are different in the way they work, but to switch between them, you need to go up here. Now, you should only have Blender Render, Blender Game, and Cycles Render, but I have two others from add-ons. So just don't worry about that. That's just my add-ons. <coughs> Sorry. So what we're going to do is first, I'm going to show you guys how to render an image. So we have this, and that's pretty cool. So I'm going to render this by going into here and going to render and clicking it. Now you see that looks okay, but that doesn't look how we want it to. So I'm gonna um, add a material to it. So I'm gonna hit escape to exit out. I'm gonna go to material, maybe go to diffuse, and I'm going to make this like a light, like a dark blue. Make it really intense. And then maybe no, it's not that, it's a mirror. And now if we render, it looks okay. But that's not how light works. If you notice all these shadows, that's not how light works. Light does not just fade out. It has lots of increments. So that's what we're gonna, that's Blender Render. Blender Render is used mostly for modeling and that's about it because the render engine isn't that good. I mean, you can make animations because they give you all the tools to render your animation out and stuff, but it's not what I would recommend if you're working on like CG art or something like that. So that's one of the cons of Blender internal is that it doesn't have a very good render, but it is very quick. It has a very quick preview and the render times are also very quick. You could preview in high quality very quickly in the editor by hitting Shift F. I think it's Shift X. No, it's Shift Z. But I'm going to go back into Solid View. So that's that. I'm actually going to delete that material because now I'm going to go into Blender, into Cycles, the next part. I'm going to go on Cycles. <clears throat> if I render, that looks a ton better. You can see that. It's, that's how light works. The shadows are pretty nice, but it's also fairly low quality. And that's actually fixable by clicking on the camera, scrolling down to sampling, and changing the pre, and then changing the render to 100, for example. And then you can render out at higher quality with less of those little noise, with less of noise. So now, what do we want to do? I'm actually going to first get this vertice and turn on connected. Um, and just move it out more because you couldn't really see it and I'm going to do the same right here. Now if I render you can see that it looks good but materials so that's one of the cons is slow rendering times to cycles. Cycles has very slow rendering times but if you learn how to use it correctly it can look very very realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a material, a basic material. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I have this cough suddenly. So if you go to the material tab and you click new, you'll see it looks a little bit different. And it's because of this, we have shaders. Now, we used to be able to change these in um, Blender Render, but they got rid of that and just gave you all the options. So this gives you everything you need to get started. But let's say that you're not content with what you have and you want to make... Um, a mix, let's say, between the diffuse shader and the glossy shader. That's usually what you want to do. You can use a shader called a mix shader. Now the mix shader combines two shaders. So I'm going to go to glossy 
And I'm also going to do diffuse. I'm going to change this color to red. This is what I would suggest for making like, I guess, if you're making, because um, you never, you rarely want to change the color of this. You always want to keep that at white. And then you can also change the amount that they're mixed together. So like I can do 0.3 and it will be, if I go to the preview, you can see it better. If I go to 0.7, if I go to 1, it's completely diffused. If I go to 0, it's completely glossy. But if I go right in the middle, like let's say 0.75, that looks pretty cool. I'm actually going to bump that down to 0.25 and show you the other end of the spectrum. All right, so 0.75. Now, this doesn't have to be a mix shader. This can also be what's called an add shader. And that's the same thing pretty much, but it just adds both of the values together. So the mix shader is generally what you want to use for this. All right, so now if we render, you can see that the material looks much better. It has sharper edges, everything reflects good, everything looks good. And it will actually give off light based on its refl reflectivity. That's just a cool thing you can do. So I'm not going to let that render out all the way. But those are the differences between Blender and Cycles. Blender, Blender render is not very good. And you can see... You can, that's another con. You cannot jump, but for, you cannot bring Cycles Render shaders into Blender Render. It just doesn't work. And so that's, so I'm probably going to put a chart up right about here. Yeah. And so some of the con, so Blender Render has really fast rendering times. Um, and it's usually used for prototyping and modeling. And then Cycles is generally used for the final rendering and the materials. So thanks for watching, guys. This was a quick tutorial on the differences between Blender Render and Cycles Engine. I know that's a very difficult topic. I was very confused by that for a few, um, I think it was months, actually. And I didn't understand what the difference was. And now that I've learned from Andrew Price and other people like Blender Cookie, and them, they have show, they show you guys um, what they are, and they fully explained it to me. It was really good help. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.